Eh, he should have divorced her when she named her baby Jean. Well, here we go with another season finale. Not going to do any predictions. I mean, they may throw us for a loop. Let me see what it's called. Shut the door. Have a seat. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you know what? I think we may see Peter actually switch jobs. I never thought it would happen. But they've had Duck. They've kept Duck at least in the periphery most of the season. Since they brought, I think it's fourth, fifth episode when they first introduced him. He's been kind of hanging around. You just have to redress one of the sets and make that his office. And they already said the thing. They didn't want to have to do a separate set. That's why he never has any meetings at that office. Because they don't want to do a separate ad agency office. So they just do their hotel set redressed. So there's that. So you bring him over there requires another set. And I don't know if they want to do that. But something's, I mean, closed door, have a seat. Something's going to happen. <laughs> that's, that's such an intriguing title. I love that shit. I mean, it, it seems clear to me Betty's just going to leave his ass, man. You know. Does he even call her Birdie anymore? I think he just calls her Bets these days. Did they just drop the Birdie thing? I haven't heard that Birdie thing in a while. Now, I haven't been listening for it. But I haven't heard it in a while. That's interesting, too. But, yeah, I'm not... Uh, I think it's going to be something out of the left field. Like, it's going to be... You know, last season, we could kind of see that there's decisions being made, but, like, they kind of made it kind of clear what she's going to do. Like, she doesn't love him. That's pretty defensive. That's not situational. It doesn't matter how good things are. Like, if, if she doesn't love you, she, you know, that's it, man. It's the end of the relationship, essentially. So, yeah, I don't think there's any coming back from that. Now, he may be in denial. Maybe she's in denial, but I don't think so, man. I really don't. I don't think she's the kind of person who would be kissing another man if she still loved her husband. Because she flirted with that whole thing literally and figuratively. Either season one or season two. I can't remember when she, you know, the whole uh, racetrack thing that was going on. And um, didn't do it. Pawned him off on her girlfriend. So, yeah, I think I think that's just over. Which is surprising to me. But that was kind of, it's on the table now, right? So, that, it's not really going to be surprising in this episode. So, let's just go ahead and get into this shit. Let's find out together. Doesn't look like he's at home, does it? It looks like he's at a hotel. <coughs> or sorry I'm late is that the That's... teacher's it looks like the teacher's house thank you how are you close the door have a seat I'm afraid I have some serious business to discuss <laughs> have a seat that effective January 1 they're buying Putnam Powell oh Lolo. shit what I'm sorry but that means I'm going to have to move my New York properties elsewhere shit why it's conflict because so we're all gone. And he's under the contract. Sterling, I don't know. Cooper will definitely be put on a nice boat. <laughs> I'd asked him to put you on the Caribbean hotels, but uh, I don't think I'm going to stay there much longer. You come and go as you please. <laughs> exactly. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, he does. My future is tied up in this mess because of you. You wanted my account, and you were lucky to get it. Yes, he was. You wanted to play I with me. All these late night calls and shit. I got everything I have on my own. So is Don, it's really. made me immune to those who complain and cry because they can't. <laughs> He's such a dick. I didn't take you for one of them, Don. Are you? Fuck off. We're over anyway, so, you know. Nice meeting. Some other time we'll try again. Yes. Have a nice holiday. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a lovely holiday. Thank you very much. One of his Thanksgiving, because I think the Kennedy assassination was October. I think. Maybe August. So I wonder if the holiday is Thanksgiving or Christmas. We're all in this together. No, we ain't. Thanks to you. Take care <laughs> of mine, you take care of yours. Damn it, with Fuck this co op. This is a cooperative. No more. Get out of my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Co-op these nuts. And thanks for the rolls. 
Yep, Christmas. Okay, that answers that question. Oh. He probably so knew, knew about this. Yeah. No, but it makes sense. All that short-term thinking. Yeah. So what do we do? That's why I didn't give a shit about the future. You do. I have a contract. You have a contract. Roger has a contract. Thanks for forcing me into this contract, by the way, Dick. And you old men love building golden tombs and sealing the rest of us in with you. Yeah, that's true. That's a good You're note. Done. I don't have the rest of my life to earn it back. I understand. I'll let you get back to sleep. <laughs> because I'm sick of being batted around like a ping pong ball. But I'm not sure you have a stomach for the realities. Oh, shit. Try me. Did Hilton tell you when this blessed event is supposed to take place? New Year's Day. <sighs> shit. They ain't got any time, man. We have to talk to Roger now. You talk to him. <laughs> you want to do this? You need to bury not? the hatchet. You need to bury the hatchet, bitch. And believe me, I've been all about his beef with Roger because I love the chaos, right? But you got to bury the hatchet, man. You have to. Kiss and make up. I wonder if he can swing back by the Hilton and say, hey, look, we're going to buy back. So we cool? You know, good thing he didn't burn that bridge, right? He probably feels bad about the president getting shot on his watch. Fuck him. Now, stop reading the paper. Yeah. <laughs> She's obsessed. Most interest that girl's ever had in a book deposit. No shit. I know you're sniffing around because I have a golden pork chop dangling from my yeah. neck. <laughs> he always has a way to put it. You don't value what I do any more than they do. <laughs> I was wrong. That's right, grovel. I learned that with Hilton. I can sell ideas, but I'm not an account man. You're not good at relationships because you don't value them. I value my relationship with you. You do now. I do. That's right. He's groveling. I'm sorry. I've got points. Stock. Yeah, you dick. If I'm useless, so be it. So deck chair somewhere with Make him fucking on. grovel and then you're going to turn him down anyway. You dick. You massive throbbing right, dick. Roger. If you lost your appetite, you should retire. Golf, go on vacation, lose He knows how to push buttons, man. In three years. Yep. <laughs> Join or die. <laughs> Jesus, Bert. <laughs> he, he's pushing your buttons. You're still going to want to live me. <laughs> yeah. We have to try. So you do want to be in advertising after <laughs> I guess he made his choice. He, does, he knows what he wants. That's all I've been fucking asking for. Do you know what the fuck you want? Go upstairs. Daddy just got home. Yeah, he don't ever get to see the kids anymore. She keeps sending them away. I've had a tough year. I felt I should tell you rather than just let you get a phone call at work. Well, forget it. I'm not going to let you break up this family. I didn't break up this family. I see both sides, really. Do. But the bottom line is she don't love you, dude. It's over. If she doesn't love you, it's fucking over. It don't matter what else you're talking about, man. You're just doing this, man. That's all you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please shut the door. And we have it. an episode title uh, for the third time this episode. So, and we know that makes Sterling Cooper chattel. Who told you that? Someone outside of this building who yeah. knows? Well, they're wrong. Lane, we've worked next to each other for a year. Don't act like a stranger. <laughs> God, I love Roger. He's hilarious. <laughs> well, I suppose we'll find out soon enough. So you did know. You lied. Your information like... isn't complete. PPO, well, will remain. You gotta PPO. be shitting me. That doesn't change our plans. We it's worth more than that now. Well, what did you get? I'm not going to say, but... Jesus Christ. Believe me, it wasn't my decision. Throw a motherfucker bone. What, what kind of money are we talking about? I quite enjoyed it here. I actually believe him. Even though he was lying literally 30 seconds ago. Dick. That's why people go to Reno. It's painless. I met my second wife. <laughs> you stay there for six weeks. The Draper doesn't even need to go. Just consent. He ain't consenting to shit. I see. We need to discuss what you want in terms of settlement. Whatever I'm entitled to. Give us a second. It's 50%. You don't need what he can provide. <laughs> Henry, I have three children. I'll take care of Dude, them. You better be loaded. I'll take care of you. You better be fucking loaded. I don't want you owing him anything. It's not owing. He owes her. Maybe not 50%. But he owes her, like, a, we want to get a good chunk of change. God, commercial be cutting my first off mid-sentence, man. God damn it. 
<laughs> that editor, man. That editor be in the editor room. <laughs> Look at this. That's right, goddamn right fucking here. That's where we're going to fucking edit this shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that editor smoking a fucking blunt. Yeah, I'm cutting the film right here. Fuck it. Act break. Who gives a shit? <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> This is, like, it actually pisses me off, man. The way I deal with my anger is I, I channel my anger through humor. That's the only fucking way I can deal with it. Otherwise, I'd be punching walls and shit, man. That's no fun. Ruin your knuckles. Like, that one actually pissed me off. Like, I cannot fucking believe they cut it there. Like, you gotta be shitting me. They did last episode, too. Mark. Possible. Sinjin, I'm glad I caught you. What do they know? Uh, they knew about McCann, but they were under the belief that PPL was being sold as well. Obviously, the news is getting out. What news? PPL is being sold as well. Oh, shit. Why wasn't I told? So he wasn't lying. Well, where's my place in this? Look at McCann, I suppose. Shit, come over to uh, uh, Sterling Cooper, man. They know you're essential to the transition. And then what? Yeah. You'll prove yourself irreplaceable. You always do. What a dick. <laughs>